Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to review and test the RX 590 GME from MLC. This graphics card appeared on Amazon for around $115 lately and it looks like a decent value for the price. Hit the like button and let's start. AMD officially launched RX 590 GME in March 2020 for China only. Performance wise it should be 10% slower than the regular RX 590, but it is 3% faster than RX 580. So GPU arrived very fast, packaging looks good, in the box we have a manual, a graphics card itself, which surprisingly has some weight to it, a warranty card, and they even included screws, that's nice. The first impression is good, GPU looks pretty new and feels solid. The backplate is made of metal which is very nice. On the back we have 3 displays and 1 HDMI port. The GPU also has 6 pin connector on the side. I paired this card with i5-11400 to avoid bottleneck. Everything went good, downloading AMD drivers right away. And our GPU recognized as RX 590 GME. That's perfect. Let's jump into games right away. I'll be testing all games in 1080p 144Hz. Starting with Valorant on medium graphics settings seeing over 200 FPS all time with a great frame time. Similar situation in CSGO on high settings. As you can see the game runs very smoothly. Raising the bar to more demanding online games in Fortnite native 1080p medium settings and I'm seeing FPS in range from 60 to 75. Frame time is stable and the game looks pretty good on medium settings. In Apex Legends with high graphic settings getting 70 to 80 FPS range. The frame time graph looks good and the game runs with no freezes. Next PUBG medium graphic settings, seeing over 75 fps all time, getting micro freezes once in a while, but overall the game feels good. Jumping in Warzone 2.0, native 1080p with graphics on low, I see very playable 60 to 80 fps range. The frame time is not perfect, but not critical. Now let's check single player games, Elden Ring high settings, getting 45 fps with raises to 60 sometimes, runs pretty well. In Days Gone on high graphic settings, getting 65 to 80 fps range. The frame time is stable and the game looks very nice. Cyberpunk is also playable. With the medium graphic settings I got 61 average FPS in the benchmark. So the card performs very nicely for the price. But I also wanted to check the difference in performance with the RX 580 2048 SP. For a while now this $100 GPU is a go-to for budget builds because of its performance for the price. So in Cyberpunk with the same medium graphic settings I got 55 average FPS. Here is a close comparison, RX 590 GME is 6 FPS ahead. So here when I realized that something was wrong. The performance difference should be more visible. I tested some more games such as Days Gone and Fortnite and most of the time I had only around 3 FPS difference. I looked up the GPU info and unfortunately it looks like it is RX 580 2048 SP that was flashed so it recognized as RX 590 GME. That's really disappointing, I cannot even call it rebranding because it feels more like a scam from Milsi. I don't recommend getting this card, you can get pretty much the same performance by getting RX 580 2048 SP and slightly overclocking it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below and stay tuned for more videos.